so let me download the model so if you go here you will see the site model so I either I can download from here or you can also go for the git one okay if you This one you will see uh, the model git link you can also download from here but from here you can also download okay you can see the build weekly upgrade you can see three to three days 13 hours ago so the release comes on 5th of october this month itself now you'll have the choice whether you want to go with the git or you can download here directly okay so let me come through a git here so under this directory i will create you can see this much crowd here so model 4.5 i will create this directory and inside this i will have that git code okay so you can type your git clone then this and I will put the dot why dot because after pressing dot it will not create additional folder inside it will just uh, paste all the code here okay you can see here it will be taking much time it all depends on your internet speed uh, it's night here and yes it is quite slow <laughs> it's, it's one every download it and here if you come on the git part you can see it just four percent as of now yeah it's five now so either way you can go for downloading this one so ultimately we will have this directory okay so everything all this code will come inside this okay then I will have additional directory that is model data so the code directory will have so either you can take it from the git or down, direct download then you will have model data so that means all the files will be stored here okay so files related to model will go here okay now the yes the database so database will have to create and all this part will be of model configuration so let's say some issue it's coming here so let me try again now you can also see here it's around 40 50 mb downloaded 49. Uh, it is not going to take more than three minutes but let's wait here okay so i am going to cancel this one so I don't want the git because it is taking too much time so whatever the code it will give the model code I am going to paste here okay so now I need to have this model data so I will create a model data directory here and of course that should be uh, outside of your code 4.5 so this is the path of my modal data okay and yes of course it will have read write permission so i can since i have local i can't run command so i will be giving this permissions of 
okay since it's in uh, the super then the 4.5 of model this okay, so this will be my project path okay so this is here so this will go setting will go under ww root and this will go under data root and this is the database okay so now you can see it has started copying the file and the size you can see is of 291 mb okay so it is taking much time the next okay, so almost an hour so i will uh, skip this step uh, in a video here and once it is all done i will again start my recording coming back hello guys now coming back to the code directory here so now you can see everything is pasted okay you can see this is a file given that is config.dins okay it will be given within this code and you will have to make a copy of it and you can rename it to config okay so this is a php file that means config.php and here you will have to make a modification um, okay, so PG SQL I don't have on my local server. So maybe my SQL I should work. Okay, so local host. Then I had created the other database that is this. Now in my local case, it's root and with empty password. So MDL underscore is a prefix. For me is fine and yeah so db configuration change we have done that now this is a set this setting will be required here okay so this is the ww root path you'll have to paste here okay then this is also done this is done now this is the modal path modal data so you'll find here our uh, data root this is the path you'll have to paste here okay so you have to make the configuration changes here in data root ww root and in the database path so this is all configuration you'll have to adjust here now i can try accessing this us accessing this so that i will have the latest model So let's see what it says so in case the any issue around the configuration will be there it will be prompted here and you can adjust that settings yeah here on this page and again it, it will take time because uh, initially it will have to set up something like uh, if you go back to this model data code here you will see some files there okay so earlier it was just an empty one but let me come there yeah you can see the cache local cache this these all files are again coming here okay you can see here the thrash you'll also see the sessions here okay temp directory you can see the file dir where all the files will go inside this You'll also see here okay now you can also see here installation model 5.0 uh, 
or Dev is, is in progress. But I don't want Dev to be installed. So here, let me try Moodle Git. So which is the latest branch I will have to move ahead that is model 4.0 so it's not 4 it's 4.0.5 yeah this is a stable one so if you have taken a code from a git okay this is the code then you can switch back to this okay you can see it's a main directory but I have to switch here in this branch so first of all you'll have to fetch all the branches so that it appears here everything fetch branch all branch okay so there is a command git fetch I don't know. I think it should work yes now I can see git branch yeah so git checkout so so whenever you are installing a model new setup I will uh, recommend you go for a latest release and it is a stable one okay so latest release in model 4.4 that is stable as of now okay, so now I can see I can switch to this branch okay because I it fetches everything then I can switch to this branch now if I refresh this code I can access here you can see on top it's dev one but if I refresh this page again I will have to go back to the main URL I can see here okay you can see here dev is gone from. now you can see model 4.5 plus build that is uh, the date of 24 10 that means october 11 okay now i can click on continue to continue the setup part of this model installation Yeah, you can see here the uh, in my case every server check is getting passed so you can see all okay except this stws previous so continue <coughs> Sorry. so here again it will take some time because it will set up everything and now you, uh, you can also see here the database this was the one we created yesterday so whenever the setup will start started, you will see here that in this database, you can see some data here. Okay, so it's again, it is not started. It's taking time in loading. Uh, okay, so it's taking time here, but it's whenever it started, you see here, uh, the data started appearing here. Okay, so this is how you can set up your instance, but yeah so here on this page again i'm going to skip this step because it is going to take much time i guess mm -hmm. Okay, so you can see here uh, the tables will be related to this uh, plugins you can say so if I come here on the database replace you can see here the increase size so you can also see here the table related to order uh, you'll also see some data around because it, it is started installing
and yes as i told you it will be asking for the admin credentials here as you can see the two users so it is waiting for the password and the email id and of course the name okay so i don't want to change the username so it, i will let it be admin i think it's fine so yes is this page is still loading so i will have to wait because without that i can't do anything i'm going to put, put my email id city country in case you want to choose otherwise you can let it be whatever okay so i'm going to add a simple password password the one two three four five okay you can see since this is my local instance i don't have any issue in I'm making this password visible in front of you so you can choose the time zone here in my case it's asia Kolkata. so i will be searching for that one yeah so this is that's it in case you have to change the name you can change this it's my name yes the update profiles so the moment you click on update, uh, you are done with uh, setting up the model. And here, if you come see, you can see if you, you open this user table, you can see the password is updated now. You can see the first name updated, last name updated, and the email is also updated. Well, and along with that, you see you just log in because you are logging from this the first time login access last time and last login and the current login everything will be updated for me and i can log in here so this is the credentials no i had different password password one two three four five login So after uh, credential is set up for you as an admin, it, you'll have here, uh, you'll have to put your username. So let me put mlogs, ms, site short name, my, my channel name, take them. Okay, so take them. Okay, so I just put the details there and if you save this, it will be asking you for the support email address. Well, so from this file, you can remove the commented area if you are not sure why this was you can remove everything that is not in use from this config file or you can let it be there is no issue but ideally it should be cleaned enough so that in future whenever you visit it should uh, be more clear here well so like this you can remove uh, everything that is not required Yes, as I told you, it will be asking for the support email and I will click on the save changes. Yes, so this is the LMS install that is model 4.4 is ready for you to use. Yes, you can explore, you can try adding the users. Well, so this is coming like this. You can try adding courses, you can 